comparative and superlative sentences. Learning goal. Students will be able to identify and use comparatives and superlatives. One way to describe nouns is by comparing them to something else. When comparing two things, you will probably use comparatives. These are adjectives like smaller, bigger, taller, more interesting, and less expensive. You can spot them because they have an ER ending or have the words more or less in front. When you are making a comparison, there are times that you use ER and other times that you must use more or less. Smaller, bigger, taller, less expensive, more interesting. There are a few simple rules for this. For adjectives that are just one syllable, add ER to the end. Cold, colder. For two syllable adjectives not ending in Y, and for all three or more syllable adjectives, use the form more plus adjective. Beautiful, more beautiful. For two-syllable adjectives ending in Y, change the Y to I and add ER. Friendly, friendlier. Friendly, friendlier. When you are comparing more than two things, you might identify one as standing out from others by using superlatives. This means words and phrases like smallest, biggest, tallest, most interesting, and least interesting. Here we use an EST ending, or the words most and least. The rules are similar to the rules for comparatives. Coldest, most beautiful, friendliest. Remember that adjectives ending in Y change their spelling when EST is added. To form these superlatives, we change the Y to an I before adding the EST ending, as you can see below. Incorrect. That is the sleepiest puppy on the farm. Correct. That is the sleepiest puppy on the farm. Like everything in English, though, there are exceptions to the rules. In fact, there are irregular adjectives and adverbs that you have to memorize. Irregular adjectives and adverbs these include good or well, better, best, bad or badly, worse, worst, little, less, least. Let's listen to Alice, Victor, and Elena as they go out shopping. Can you spot the comparatives and superlatives? I found two bags that I like, but I can't make up my mind which one to buy. The red bag and the tan bag, right? I think the red bag is prettier than the tan one. Yes, but it is also more expensive. Me 
it is a difficult choice. You might save money on the tan bag, but the red one might be higher quality as well, so it would last longer. Hey, Alice, what about that green bag you were looking at? Are you kidding, Victor? That is a Hermes bag. It is probably the most expensive bag in this shop. Mm -hmm.